Okay, a well cared for car, one free of damage, engine issues, and dirt, can be a sanctuary. However, vehicles that are dirty and disorganized can have a negative impact on your mental health. That's according to a new biometric study by HCD Research for Jiffy Lube. So, joining us this morning, behavioral neuroscience expert, Dr. <laughs> Michelle. Oh, geez, your last name, <laughs> N Nigella. Nigella. It, it, it's, yeah, it's, it looks a little harder to pronounce than it is. Michelle, I apologize, yes. and thank That's you so okay. much for spending time with us. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Well, except for botching your name, I'm cool. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this. What does your car, I guess in that say, or the condition of your car say about a person? Well, this study is a really interesting first time look at anything like this, but using neuroscience and psychology, we actually found some interesting findings about how that inner sanctuary of your car affects your mental well-being. And how does it do that? I mean, if your car is messy, how does that impact you emotionally? Yeah, very negatively. So what was really interesting about the study is that we found that things that happen inside your car, that sanctuary of your car where you are spending the most time, uh, when you see, you know, indicator lights on the dashboard that say something's wrong, or if you have a cluttered car that's really messy, these have the most negative impact on your emotional well-being, you know, compared to things that happen outside of your car, like flat tires or, um, you know, traffic. Those things seem more out of your control, but things that are are within your control, like this is the good news, things that are within your control, like being able to do preventative maintenance or maybe, you know, declutter your car, or clean your car can actually, you know, do a lot of improvement to your mental well-being. Interesting. Um, is, is there any connection between the negative feelings about the car and maybe avoiding getting it mm -hmm. fixed or avoiding cleaning it? Yeah, so, you know, people can feel like they're not in control um, and like they do want to avoid it. But what we were seeing is that uh, people self-reported that, you know, if it's something that they can control, can do something about, they would feel better. So this is a really interesting, unbiased look using neuroscience and psychology to better understand how people can maybe, um, you know, do some self-care inside their car to really improve that sanctuary and improve their own mental well-being. This all makes sense to me because when, at least for me, when I have a messy home, I'm more stressed. And when I have a messy car, it just adds to it. Mm. Things are cleaner. Mm -hmm. You just feel better about the day, right? Right, yeah. And, you know, if people spend a lot of time in their car, you know, as people are going back into work or maybe with the holiday weekend coming up, you might be spending a lot of time in your car. And so these little preventative things that you can do, like preventative maintenance or maybe doing just a little bit of organization, can go a long way in self-care and making you feel better. Do we do we look any deeper into this and say like, boy, if, if my car is messy, then, then maybe my emotional health and well-being is messy. Is it, is it that easy of a connection to make? <laughs> we didn't get that from the study. Well, certainly anything you can do that's going to make you feel better, make you feel more comfortable, especially in a space you spend a lot of time in, something that you can control um, could be a really important step into making your day easier. Gotcha. And not running out of gas and doing right. you know, it's like, so many things with the car, I feel like. Oh, well, then you don't have to look for things. I got two hard. lights on right now. I, I got to get fixed. Or a right? mess up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning. Dr. Michelle Nigella, we appreciate you. Thanks for the insight. Thank you so much.